we're going to make chocolate bunny cakes. So let's get started. This is a really quick recipe because you're going to use actually a box cake. We're going to use devil's food today. Of course, you could use whatever flavor that you want. We're also going to put in one um, box of instant chocolate pudding. I'm going to add four eggs into my dry mix on medium speed. And now I'm going to add one cup of water. I'll just do a little at a time. Raise my speed. I'm going to get to the bottom of the bowl and get those sides mixed. Now you can use, of course, your stand-up mixer. I'm just doing the hand mixer so that I can do the video. And the last thing that you're going to put in is a half a cup of vegetable oil. And I'm going to turn my speed all the way up. And put a little at a time. Now you should beat this anywhere from three to four minutes till it's all been combined and it's completely smooth without any lumps. And I'll show you what that looks like in just a minute. I'm going to move it along for the video. That is the full time that I'd like to mix this, but you'll have a nice rich batter from it once you mix it, as I said, for three to four minutes. Now I'm going to actually fill a bunny pan, which I sprayed with canola spray, and then I dusted it with a uh, flour, all-purpose flour. And you want to put in a little less then one third cup of batter into each of the bunny cavities. Just a little less than one third. And then I like to actually take a craft stick and then work it into, um, into the ear area and fill in the body so that I know that the bat batter will be properly formed when it bakes. Now you're going to get 12 bunnies out of this particular pan. Bake it at 350 and it should be done in about 15 to 18 to even 20 minutes once you bake them. I'm going to put that aside for now because I baked actually some ahead of time. And here we go. This is exactly how they come out. They're little bunny cakes. They look like this. And then what I went ahead was I actually melted a um, half a pound of chocolate from chocolate bars, melt chocolate, in the microwave and I added one tablespoon of shortening to it and then I put it in my warmer to keep it at the proper temperature. Then all you really have to do is dip your bunny into either a bowl or as I have in my warmer and just dip it about halfway and then you're going to need to put that of course on some parchment paper or uh, wax paper till it cools. Now you can put it in your freezer and let it set up for about five minutes or anywhere from 10 to 15 in your refrigerator. Of course you'll want to be able to do the other side. I went ahead and did one and this one's done on the back side. So you'll need to actually cool them separately so you can do the front and the back of the bunny. Here I have one that I already um, dipped and cooled and I'm not quite an artist so I actually used uh, this little stick to form the shape of the design of the bunny's eyes and mouth and his ears. Of course uh, many of you are probably far more talented at decorating than I am. But uh, this is what I came up with. Now I went ahead and mixed some ornamental um, icing 
uh, with a small um, tube in a bag and then I actually just follow what I put on and I'm going to actually fill in the ears and then a couple dots for the eyes Whoops. <laughs> and then a little mouth for the nose nose and mouth and just a little red candy for the nose now what you can also do is just put a little bit of your sprinkles into his little ear area we'll shake off the excess and again let that set up in your freezer and I have one that I did ahead of time to show you and here you have your own little chocolate bunny cake that's been dipped in chocolate and decorated for Easter. Give the recipe a try. Hope you like this one. If you do, let me hear from you. I'd like to hear your comments. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.